Hello, hello, guess who's back? Hey there, guys. This is my new place. So, uh, yeah, um, this is the wall for now. This may grow when I go keep going back and forth between my houses. Anyways, so uh, tonight, or this today, I guess, this review would normally be a supernatural review, but I couldn't find anyone to watch the newest episode. And of course, it's a story episode. So I decided to rent a movie from the video store. Yeah, no kidding. There is actually a video store here that is the oldest one possibly in BC. Anyway, the film I watched was Legends. And I really wanted to see this film mainly because I like the idea of Tom Hardy playing two dualities. And supposedly there was so much effort put into do his, two of his different characters is that whenever he would do a scene with as one of the craze, he would then switch over to the other one, but it'd take him two hours to switch it. And I admit that would be a pisser for crew. Either way, this film was actually pretty... It was different. That was something I definitely commend it for, for being a different sort of gangster film. Usually we see the rise and fall. And this film is similar in a sense, but it doesn't really talk about the criminal enterprise. It talks about Reggie and his relationship with his girlfriend, Frances, and basically how Ron screwed everything up. Now, admittedly, there are some moments in this film that are very disjointed. At one point, Reggie goes to jail for something, and you don't know what it is and the other uh, aspect of the film that is a little bit disjointed is the entire criminal enterprise we get literally a sentence of what they do and that's it you really don't know much of the criminal enterprise they do from what you see on this on the in the film aside from a few very criminalist acts they don't really do anything like in those criminal acts are like the th there's a few people who are killed and besides that you really don't see these guys as gangsters and that's possibly one thing that i commend the film for is while it isn't going the route that we're normally seen with gangster films it is different and that's something that i liked about it admittedly the humor was very funny there was a lot of very good jokes that i cannot repeat because they are very offensive but they, admittedly they were very good jokes and i did like the two different dualities of the characters and one thing that i found very interesting was that despite how violent and how idiotic and how he basically ruined everything i actually liked Tom Hardy's version of Ronald Cray and the reason why is because through all the madness through all the stupidity he still had shining moments of a humanity and that was something that I don't know if it was a part of the actual character of the actual person but I did enjoy those aspects and I thought that was very interesting because I understood why Reggie didn't want to kill his brother despite the fact that he was destroying everything and to see this criminal enterprise rise and fall theoretically because of the actions of these two brothers was very cool to watch and even paul bettany's in it for like 20 minutes and he was actually pretty funny too however there are like i said this film is very disjointed there is a moment where uh, Doctor Who, Chris Eccleston, is uh, in the movie at the beginning, and then he doesn't appear to the end, and you really didn't get that. It starts halfway through, but you don't get that because of just how the narration is going with Francis. And I actually liked Emily Brown, if that's Emily Brown. And then there's also a Kingsman kid. I would look up his name right now, Ed Ed Ten Tenon, but... I don't have internet, which, by the way, that's going to be a very funny thing about this whole review system. Anyways, so while Legends does have its issues, I actually enjoyed it for being something different, and I commend it for that. So in the end, my rating for Legends is a 5 out of 7. Yes, that is the picture of the box art, because I can't download the photo, which brings me to my issue. I have shit internet. It's awful. I didn't think of that when I got this amazing place. And admittedly, I'm going to have to make do. I go to the cafe every morning, every day I finish work to realign myself with the world. And admittedly, that's what's going to happen with these reviews. I'm going to do a review and then I won't really be able to upload it until I go into the office the next morning. So apologies in advance. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and there will be more coming, and eventually when I get to see Supernatural, I'll let you know. Anyway, see you guys later.